But before then, scientists at Oxford University tried to discover how we learn to recognise faces. They're scanning the brains of children aged between 5 and 16 to see what's happening when they identify someone. The study will also investigate if there's a difference in the way people with autism respond. Alistair Fee has a story. Oscar is helping scientists learn more about one of our most natural skills used to communicate, face recognition. He's volunteered to have his brain scanned to see what's going on when he sees pictures that match up. Because we look at faces so often and we need to be able to process them to such a high level of complexity, there's a part of the brain that seems to be specialised for looking at faces. So that's the part of the brain that we'll be interested in looking at as the analysis. Sat on a chair surrounded by sensors, children as young as five are shown pictures and asked if they're the same or different. This room is a mock-up as the camera would interfere with the data being recorded. This new technique is being used by psychologists at Oxford University to map the brain. The results are studied and used to compare children with and without autism. The machine that we've got here is able to measure brain responses at the millisecond level. So it's given us a different way of looking at how the brain responds. In a way, we're able to look at things that previously you would have had to have looked at using um, under operation, in, under, under surgery, because we're actually getting access to how the brain responds in real time. So far, some 50 children have taken part. The study ends in March next year. Scientists say the work will give a greater understanding of how children and adults with autism recognise people around them. Alastair Fee, BBC Oxford News.